sure, don't tell Coach Jones we told you, but the first time we talked to him in camp, he told us he thought you could be really, really good. So what, is, what does it mean to you to kind of hear that type of praise from, from him? Uh, it means a lot to me. Coach Jones is a great coach. Him coming from Memphis and me switching positions, he's kind of become like a second father to me here. He's been like a really good mentor. He's been a great coach. Like, I'm really glad to have him here. Trent, what was the uh, reaction from you when they asked you to go to running back? Uh, it was it was a little different for me. I didn't really know what to think. I kind of sat and thought on it. And, but then again, I'm like I'm the type of guy that wants to contribute to the team any way I can. We have two great quarterbacks and Chandler and Max and Sam and Josh who just came in. So I was kind of like any way I can contribute and get on the field, that'll help. Like I'll do it. So, yeah. Being a, has um, we've seen some good stuff in you. Kind of has that experience of quarterback. Did that kind of help with the transition at all? Uh, it kind of did help a little bit. Like, learning the offense wasn't as hard. Learning it from a different position. There's still a bunch of things about playing running back. The small things that Coach Jones is still teaching me that I'm still learning. So there's a lot of progress that has to be made and a long way to go. But it did help being a quarterback at first, yeah. Did you never play running back at Daphne? Or is it uh, always quarterback? I was always a quarterback at Daphne. In middle school, I played a little bit, maybe in, like, seventh grade. But besides that, I was always a QB. I played receiver my freshman year. So, yeah. How talented is that running back? group for you guys with, you know, yourself, Amani, Amari, Kendra, Corey, I mean, the uh, list goes on. I feel like we're a really talented running back room. Like, if we put in the work and we listen to what Coach Jones has to say and take his coaching to heart and don't, like, get in our feelings about some stuff, we can really we have a lot of potential in there. We can really be a great running back room. And like Coach Jones says, if we put in the work and put in the time, we could potentially be one of the best back rooms in the country. What are your thoughts and feelings as TCU approaches the first game of the season? I'm um, feeling really confident. This is a, it's a brand new culture. Like you see guys, the intensity's raised. It's a brand new team. I feel like I'm feeling like really confident in this team. I'm feeling everybody wants to step behind each other. And we've built a lot of camaraderie and teams and chip and everybody wants to play for each other. And I feel like that makes a big difference in how people play when you're going out there and playing for somebody next to you. What are your thoughts on the O-line and how they've been performing so far in fall camp? I feel like our line's done a great job. This is like they're they're up, like I said, playing for each other. They're playing for us. We're playing for them. When they get tired, we're running harder. When we're tired, they're blocking harder. I feel like it's a brand new O-line, brand new system, and they're getting after it. I'm really pleased with how they've been playing. Obviously, you're getting reps at running back, but are you doing any kind of special teams as well? Uh, yeah, I am participating in some special teams. I'm, on kick I'm pretty much on all of them, kickoff, punt, kickoff return, punt return, all of them. You having fun with that? Because a former quarterback on, on teams, man, that's... Uh, it's, it's different, yeah. Like, it's some things, like, I didn't practice. I wouldn't say I practiced, like, any of these in high school being a quarterback. So it's definitely different, but I was always, like, a guy that liked to get out there and like to play, and I just love football in general. So like, being out there, I enjoy being coached. So learning new things like that, I enjoy that, that process. It's fun to me. That's awesome. Is there a... Um, you talked about all that talent in the room. How are you guys, you know, blending? Because, I mean, it, sometimes... Egos can get involved and that kind of stuff. I mean, how's that going? Uh, I really feel like we don't have a lot of like egos, and there's a lot like everybody puts their pride to the side once we hit that door, and we're all playing for each other. Like if Monty's having a tough day, I'm I'm behind him. I'm telling him let's go, let's get it. I'm gonna go out there and go for you. I'm having a tough day. He's like, come on, I'm gonna go out there and go for you. Let's do it. Mari, Kendrick, Corey, we all feel the same way. We're all out there playing for each other and one another. So I feel like we kind of like yesterday, Coach Jones took us a top golf, and it was fun. We all had a great time. And it's stuff like that that like we're playing for each other and we're like camaraderie and we have a bunch of teammanship. Being a former quarterback, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust your evaluation in this. What what are your thoughts on that battle going on and, and what do you see from each one of those guys? Uh, it's really intense. Those two are going at it each day. They're both playing their hardest out there. They're both doing a great job. Chandler, Max, Sam, Hoover, all of them. They're all playing. Each one of them is making great plays every day at practice. You look up, one makes a play, and then the other one makes a play. They're both, they're all like, they're making each other better. And it's kind of like iron sharpens iron, so you're kind of pleased with it. It's kind of weird having like so many guys that are out there playing so good because you don't know who the guy is, but yeah.